Hello and welcome to Ball Creator. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a valve adjustment on a Lada Niva. This will also work in any Lada car with this type of engine. Now depending on what kind of car you have, you might have a um, fuel injection or a carburetor like me. This is a carburetor and um, to start you remove the housing for the air filter. And yeah, you take off this here and the crank case ventilation and now the air filter housing and go ahead and remove these bolts right here try not to drop them into the carburetor And you just lift it off and put it aside. Next up is removing this gas wire. You just like that. Then just slide it off and put it to the side. Next up, you have to remove this uh, what you call linkage for the. Uh, yeah, for the gas wire. I'm sorry, uh, this cable is for the choke. The gas goes here in this linkage and you have to remove, you can remove this plastic. You can pry them up carefully with a screwdriver. Just like that. Be careful not to break the plastic. And you can take this other one too. Or you can take it over here, just so you get it off. If you want, you can remove this vacuum line also, just to make more room. Now it's time to remove the cover itself. It has a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts, and they are not screwed in hard at all. They're not supposed to be hard. Remember to have a new gasket ready when reinstalling this. Yeah, here this whole thing came up loose. this off. Now you can simply lift the uh, whole cover off. Take it a bit easy so you don't lose these uh, washers and stuff that's on there. You may want to take them off and put them to the side before continuing. Yeah, before taking it off, you have to remove this vacuum line for the brake booster. Now with the vacuum hose removed, gently pry it up and get it out of there. I'll be cleaning this and repainting it before reinstalling it. Now we will be turning the engine to top dead center. I will be using this starter tool to turn the engine. Just like this. Now what we're aiming for there is a little little notch right here that must line up with this one here. Then the vehicle is uh, the engine is in top dead center. With the engine in top dead center, we can adjust the clearance on cam number eight on cylinder four 
and cam number six on cylinder three. To do this, there's an extra thick filler gauge, 0 0.15 millimeters, which you should use, and you put it over like this. And there should be a slight, slight drag. It should not get stuck, but it should not be completely loose. Just a slight drag. And to adjust, you loosen this big bolt. And you adjust with this smaller bolt up here. Then you can lock it into place with this one again. So here we go. Cam number 8. There is a slight drag, I think it's alright. Cam number 6. Yeah, well, both of them can be adjusted just a little bit. And you keep doing this according to this sequence. And that means now it's time for cylinder number 2 and cam 4. Cylinder number 4, cam 7. Perfect. Now it's time to remove this old gasket. It's not harder than that. Now, just redo the process of putting everything back and then you should do a timing adjustment or something like that and I have a video on how to do a timing adjustment if you want to watch that. Thanks for watching and please help me by subscribing to my channel.